Hello everyone, no response. I've got a short video for you today. So we're back in Hangman's Alley and these are going to be some modular shacks I'm building on the top level. These look quite cool. This area is looking pretty spiffy and I'm quite excited. I'm going to do one more build video after this one though. So this giant courtyard area here I figured could have some kind of set piece structure in it. Uh, so we're doing this bit. And then we'll do the set piece structure in that courtyard area. And then I'll just do the tour. Right, now you see that floating piece of metal? I've been trying to solve it because I absolutely despise it with a fiery passion. It's shit. I hate it so much. Um, we've been trying to figure out on Twitter how to get rid of it. I think someone has shown me a picture of standing at a certain angle. Um, can actually enable you to delete it. But I'm just going to search around because I'm pretty sure there's a way to get rid of it. If not, I'm, I've got a couple of ideas how I'm going to hide it. But I hate it. <laughs> I tried for an hour building a couple of stuff around it before I built all this, and I was just like, "Now nah, I make that look shit. It looks terrible. That's why I decided to cover it up last, because that way I can at least integrate it into my pre-existing structures rather than trying to build something around it first, if you get my point. So yeah, this is a, a pretty short video, because I just show you how to build one of these little modular shacks, and then I build a, another one off camera, because they're built exactly the same way. I only decorated one of them, which is the other one, because I don't know. I haven't decided how to decorate this one yet. But they look cool, and the area is really coming together, which is grand. It's looking it's looking quite looking quite spiffy. As I mentioned in the last video, I was uh, rabbiting on about Necromunda and how it's a great board game, and I'm getting the box set. I realise this just looks straight out of Necromunda right now. Like, this whole little area here, even the structure, it just looks straight out of the Underhive, which just makes me even happier. I'm, I'm quite pleased. So, yeah, these are cool. These are cool. So... They're kind of simple shacks, but I wanted, again, as always, when I try and do a weird simple shack, I make it not simple and complex. It's about 15 minutes each to make, roughly. The first one was pretty a little bit quicker than the second one, just because the second one was in an awkward position, and I had to move stuff in. So basically, you see what I'm doing here as I'm measuring the height. Now these, if you look in these pillar glitch, uh, pillar glitches, these pillars have the little... um tick marks on them, the, the, the checkered bits, uh, and that is incredibly useful for shit like this. So basically, the reason why I'm doing this, uh, so basically, so this the Covenant turret stand, as you can see, is is in uh, structures, wood, metal, wood, miscellaneous, and I'm using it as a support. Now, the reason why I do that is, you know, it's like, I can't sync the, I, I completely balls that up, by the way, lol. Um... <laughs> I can't, with the pillars, you obviously can't sink them into stuff, but what you can do is use these little check marks at the side to basically kind of raise things up. So when it, when the pillar shoots upwards, because it can't sink, it's actually perfectly the right height, and then you can put the item in. We do this a lot during this video, uh, because of the fact that I put these little uh, overhangs in front of the doorways as well. A little bit more. This looks nice, because it just kind of adds a little bit more depth to that little section there. And it looks pretty cool. So there we go. This whole area is looking great. Once I've got rid of that piece of metal, I'll be really, really happy. Um, really happy. But until that point, I'm a bit pissed off. Stupid fucking piece of metal. What I'm probably going to do, if I can't get rid of it, I've got an idea of... Because I've got another structure, basically, to our right now, which you'll see in the tour. And then I've also... Behind me, I haven't shown you... I didn't show me me doing it. But basically, I've moved the... There's a little bridge. Walking... I walk across it in the tour and that, that bit there and basically the idea being I put that so that way if I put something covering over that piece of metal it's like you're going around it slightly uh, yeah so those awnings by the way are with I believe it's one of my mods I think it's junk wall collection potentially if you go back a few weeks people keep asking me for mod videos already I haven't actually got any new ones so just go to my mod video from a couple of weeks ago or like about a month ago and that'll have basically all the mods I'm currently using one of which has these things in. I wanted to make use of these, so I put them in the front seal like this, and they look bloody brilliant. I don't know what I'm doing a northern accent to myself. It's a bit late. I'm a bit tired, maybe. I don't know. So I've got like four days at work until I'm off for Christmas, and I'm really excited, everyone. I'm really excited. I want to go. My brain's just mush. I don't, there's no work to do in the office. Who answers their emails in December? You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I can't even send a mailer. Fuck's sake, there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> Took a long lunch today, though. My boss won't watch this. This is fine, don't worry. <laughs> but took a long lunch. That was quite nice. Oh. <laughs> and thought about my builds. That's what I do. That's what I do. I, th I think about builds. So I was going to put two awnings here. Exciting stuff, but because of the structures are in the way. 
it, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. These are nice. I like these structures a lot. See, the whole idea was actually it was going to have the whole thing at awning. It was going to really open up, but that stupid big vent thing get on the way, so I didn't bother. But it's fine because what I do looks much better anyway, so it's okay. But I do like these structures. And this whole area is looking quite cool. I think, because I've got loads of mods installed. Uh, a couple, actually. So I, said, yeah. I have a couple of um, mods which just, I literally done it, which expand the build area for this. And you can actually build really, really high. Um, but I'm probably not actually going to build very high. Because it doesn't suit the image I've got in my mind, basically. I could potentially build massively high all the way up to the top. But I don't want to. That being said, I might have some kind of, like set piece because I've mentioned before how I like it where um the skyline when you walk into a settlement needs to pop out in some way similar to in the castle where I've got those giant billboards and like the water towers and the crane but also in my outpost among you especially when we've got those giant big oil tanker things you know it's like it's kind of pointless structure that doesn't actually do anything but it kind of pops out and I'm thinking this needs something when you actually walk into this settlement, you do see the signs for the apartments, which looks quite nice, but I want something in the back. So I might make use of the tall build area, but without actually making use of the tall build area. This is sped up, but this is me forgetting where the curtains are. I just, I just forgot. Just record, they are in... Where the fuck? They're in walls, decorations, walls. But this is me just, I just thought I'd leave it in. Because it's, it's quite interesting. There it is, I find it. There we go. Wait, nope. Oh no, I missed them completely, don't I? There you go, Davey, you found them, it's alright. Because uh, I wanted this to have, like, two curtains. Both structures do. So they look a bit boudoir-y, actually, but then they're still kind of crappy on the inside. I don't know what really what I was going for here, to be honest. I just I just like the look. So, yeah, but it took me to find those curtains. And also, I then proceeded to forget where the curtains were in the, when I built the second one. Because I just, I'm just an idiot. Can't remember anything. So with these curtains, you see the way the curtain piles up on one side. It, it looks better if you have the pile, the piles, lol, um, behind in the in the back of the structure. It still sounds dodgy. Um, basically, just put the rug there. Yeah, it's a lot easier to use. Yeah. All right, good. Just just do that. They're also a pain in the ass to get in, as you can see, because you can't get them that close. But they look cool and it's grand. I like the way this contrasts. Trust me, this looks really good. Yeah. So I've only decorated one of them, as I said, because I haven't decided how the other one's meant to look. One of them's a bar, basically. I think I might make it a clothes shop. I'm, not, I'm thinking of making this whole top level, like, a giant bar. So I might make, like, because he only has, like, one seat. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I've still got, I've still, I've, I still haven't finished decorating, like, the outside of these shacks so much. Mainly because we haven't decided what we're doing with that ridiculous pillar. Alright, okay, there we go. So that is it. Pretty straightforward. I do a little bit more decoration on the top. The way they look already, like, you know, they're kind of like they're occupying the sky. Listen, with me, I'm always obsessed with, like, the skyline and kind of the first bite is, you know, first taste is with the eye, first bite is with the eye and everything like that. You know, I want, you know, to stand out. So, like, this already, when you walk in, you know, you can see this, but I potentially want something framing behind them. Uh, but they look quite cool. They look quite cozy, but they suit the style. Um, especially, I like this little bar in here as well. It's, it's quite a nice. And it's, but it only has, like, two seats, so I, I might actually just turn this entire upper level into a bar, which was the initial plan. But I hope you guys like that. These are very, very short video, but also kind of nice little shacks. Very cool. I actually really, really like this. Notice as well that I deliberately tried to cut down what railings I was using, other than that side, because I was going to have railings at the top, but then I realised it just looked, it just stood out way too much. And that whole back area there, we're going to do the next build video. That'll be sometime this week. I will build up the back area so it looks it looks quite cool. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at No Respawns. I'll have a new video up soon. Hopefully the next video will also tell you how to get rid of that stupid piece of fucking shit metal with its stupid shit-eating metal grin. But until that point, follow me on Twitter at No Respawns. And you guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.